what is going on how is everybody doing all right all right all right what's up man every time every time with that that I can never understand what that is there's this weird hold on let's try that ah that'll have to work how is everybody doing everybody's doing all right it's been a minute since i've been live I know that you guys wanted the reviews, so I've been pumping them out, but uh, there was a little bit of news. I just got done watching a whole, well, not just got done. About 10 minutes ago, I watched a whole press conference where the governor of Ohio, where they were doing the protest outside, which I like to think was pretty successful. Again, I'm not going to go live. I just want to cover a couple things, and I want to show you some of the proposed bill. We'll discuss that for a little bit, and then that's it. I'll sign off. I'm not going to be here for like two hours explaining situations that are are really not difficult to understand whatsoever. So how's everybody doing in chat? I'm sure they're doing as good as they can be. Let me try to clear this up a little bit here. Hold on one second. Should have made it. Yeah, it's a little bit better. That's good. Right? Did that remove the reflection too? Of course it did. Hello, hello, hello. Top of the evening to everybody. Yeah, before Chris, what's going on, Orjan? Yeah, before Chris, I'm aware. I, I'm not planning on to be here more than an hour. I'm just kind of give everybody an update to the news for those of you that haven't seen any articles or anything in regards to that. What's going on, Dan Clark? Uh, I didn't really get to read too much of your situation, but I, I saw that you were going back under the knife. And listen, I'm sure you have every single haze of support, and um, I got your back, brother. If something goes down, I'll be right there. At Well, you're in UK, so I don't know. But we'll figure that out. Anyway, so let's just jump right into it. So today, along with 50,000 other states... The governor spoke up in regards to what they're going to do with the whole vape laws and situations. Okay, I know that this is going to sound really ate up the way that I'm about ready to say this. I have to give that governor, out of all the governors that spoke, I have to give him a high five. Okay. First off, the laws that did pass are, are really, really simple. I'm not going to get into the whole medicinal side of the other stuff because it doesn't really matter. That's not what we're here for. We're here for vaping. Well, that's usually what you're here for. So you got T21 that I think starts happening October 17th or 22nd, sometime in October. So that's a good thing. That it, it sucks for people that currently vape now that are 18 and 19. I'm not quite sure if there's a grandfather clause for those people in that bracket. So they're going to do the T21. Now, someone in the media that was there, I don't know if all the people that were outside that were protesting were able to go in to listen to the hearing because I didn't really hear a lot of racket going on on the inside. But what I did hear was a lovely person that spoke up on the left side of the place said, well, what about, why didn't you do, you could tell that this person was very, very anti-vaping, but why didn't you do what the governor of Michigan did, or the governor of what New York did, or the governor of what Massachusetts did? When he answered this question, I looked at Bray, I was like, God, dog, I got nothing but love for this dude. You know what he said? I don't have the authority, or... I don't believe I have the authority to do so. Wow. Good job, man. Good job. Now I know. I know. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> it doesn't really matter how I feel. But the fact remains is that he said that my level of respect went high. And obviously there were people in the audience that were mentioning the whole flavor and then you remove flavors. What are you going to do about people that vape flavors? So he's not banning them, but he's pushing a bill that's already written that I'll show you shortly in regards to recommending what to do. If the way it looks is tobacco only is going to be the only thing that will be purchasable in Ohio. There's no date for that. It's nothing like what other states have implemented. It's 
I'm going to show you the bill, and then we could read it over together. It's very, very lengthy. There's a lot of strikethroughs, which I'm assuming are something that they stricken or have stricken from the bill itself. They didn't show this in the whole interview. It's just something that he discussed, and I looked it up and I read it. it there's a lot of gray areas, but he is aware of the people that vape and the people that vape flavors. Obviously, they're pushing point. They showed a graph that I didn't agree with. They, they were showing that a lot of people that vape older are vaping on tobacco flavors. I have no idea where he got that chart from. Like, I, I've i never seen a chart that shows those kind of numbers because I feel like that is so skewed. Whatever, it was a chart. It was a PowerPoint presentation. Okay. So um, before we get into the bill real quick, let me just rechat, see where we're at. So for anybody that's in Ohio right now, the really the biggest thing you have to worry about is the T21. And the enforcement of what they're going to do if you're underage. And that's it. So it, it's, I don't want to say it's a win, but it's a whole lot better than what other states are doing. And him saying that I don't have the authority to do so. Go through the legislature, uh, legislative process, which we've talked about before on the other, uh, the last broadcast that I did was live. Yeah, it's it's uh, Michael Perkins is extremely. Uh, here you go. You know, Michael Perkins is extremely good compared to the other states because every time we've heard a governor speak in regards to any of this, it's always negative. It's I'm banning everything. You know, uh, there was a person there that brought up the ideology of companies losing money, and that wasn't his focus. So he seems to understand, and not as I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be honest with you. I think the worst governor that I've seen speak is the one from Washington, the Jay Inslee. I think that's his name. The worst. The worst one out of all of them. As much as the Massachusetts one was extremely firm, nothing was that bad. But I, I've heard that even shops in Washington have closed because they, they fear of what's going to happen. But nothing is written. Well, there's things written, but there's nothing in law yet that is enacted. October At least, 9th. what's that? October 9th. October 9th is the law release? Or the, the... October 9th is what? When it goes into effect, like when they're going to state what it is. Okay, so October 9th is when they're going to release it, and New Jersey is coming up really close. October 3rd is the is the situation in Jersey. Hopefully the governor in New Jersey does exactly what the governor in um, Ohio did. But here's the thing. Here's the crazy part. A lot of what's written into the bill, it would actually hurt New Jersey because the way New Jersey works now is we have two different types of taxes, right? We have a 10% tax and a 10 cent per mill. So... The way that their law is written or their bill s specifies something that's containing nicotine or not containing nic nicotine as far as banning flavors. If they did that in Jersey, that's going to hurt them because now you're not making any money from any taxes. You're just removing them. Let me show you the bill and you'll see what I'm talking about. So this is the bill right here. This is what he was talking about in regards to what they're doing in their state. Now, anybody that's just tuning in, this is an update to the Ohio hearing uh, ban situation about the flavors. So this is it, HB number 346. Uh, the, the revised code, I'm not going to read over the whole thing, just kind of highlight some things that I feel are very, very important. The prohibit the sale of flavored electronic smoking devices. You see that, right? This right here. Okay. Let me let me backtrack for a second. I gotta backtrack. I have to backtrack. I hate being the guy that says this is what I've been saying. When the doctor went up to speak, what did she pick up from the, the little podium thing? What'd she pick up? A jewel, right? They keep talking about high nicotine. They keep talking about jewel. I don't want to be the guy to say this, but I'm going to be that guy. Is if jewel never came out and we continued to vape the way that we did three years ago with RTAs or four years ago with RTAs and RDAs, I don't think we would have the problem we have right now. Especially if you use the argument 
of nicotine salts and, and kids using it to get a nicotine buzz. That's not saying you can't get a nicotine buzz from an RTA or an RDA. It just requires more work. It's not as stealthy. It's bulky. It's big. You can't just hide it. I hate to be the one to say it again. Jewel is a bad guy here. Did you know that Jewel pulled out their $5 million? $5 million? Was that right for San Francisco? Um, they were paid way more than $5 million. That was just their most recent, recent contribution. But they pulled out of San Francisco yes. to fighting the flavor ban. Yeah, they, they were about 75% of the funding for that. So they so they pulled out of that situation. Jewel is, listen, is the, the bad guy here. Okay, as much as it doesn't help out the situation, it's kind of pointing fingers, it's saying you're to blame. I legitimately, you're, my opinion, you're here on my channel, is that this would not be happening if closed pods never existed. I'm just going to put that on record right now. Would not happen. Let's move on. Let's let's move on. Right? You're going to have the people that are going to argue and say, Jay, no, listen, I jewel. Look, look. Every time they talk about it, they always bring up jewel. Every time, every time. Now they're pulling it out. She said I wanted to demonstrate it. Guys, go watch this whole thing. The Ohio governor hearing. I don't have a link. One of the mods, if you can post it, great. Uh, she pulls out a jewel. I, I thought she was going to vape it for a second. Because <laughs> it had a pot and everything in it. So I was like, is she going to just like blow clouds for the news right now? Uh, even though the CDC released that thing on Friday, of course, there, look, I don't want to talk shit about that governor. I'm just going to say that I thought he did very, very well. I don't agree with what he's recommending to the assembly, but he himself is not banning flavors. He's doing recommendations, and obviously, the, uh, I'm sure they'll weigh the pros and the cons. I like to think that. Whether or not that's what will happen is a totally different story in itself. So, let's just move on to this. I thought she, yeah, she was going to blow some rings and shit. Here, check me out, guys. Boom. And then a little ringing. Okay. Let's just go on. Uh, yeah, I have, but I'm not going to go over the Alabama situation. I just wanted to go over Ohio, just give some people some kind of update real quick. So this is the bill right again, HB number 346. Not very difficult to find, extremely easy. And uh, this is the session from 2019 to 2020. Flavored electronic smoking devices. So we know what that is, right? We know that that's closed pod devices, Juul, uh, Stigs, Mojos, uh, the naked little disposable jammies, I don't know if blue's got flavoring. Anything that's got flavoring in it, that is not tobacco. Even though tobacco's a flavoring, that is ruled out of this. Okay? That's when you, if you take PG and VG, let me make this very clear, because someone's gonna take what I'm saying and try to manipulate it. If you take PG and VG right now and, and you wanted to make a tobacco flavored nic uh, nicotine or vape or e liquid. Have you ever seen somebody just take a cigarette and squeeze it to get that taste of the cigarette inside of the VG? No. They have a little bottle of flavoring that's concentrate that they drip in it to make that flavored. Flavored. Tobacco flavor. Flavored. Shh. Wait. Listen. Tobacco flavoring. Let's move forward. And flavored vapor products, and to establish a committee to study the health risks associated with such products. There's about five words in that whole thing that I agree with. Um, let me just go on. They're talking about the enforcement, the age verification. Hold on one second. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Okay, so this is what it includes right here. Uh, of this section, the, uh, an electronic smoking device, a vapor product, or any other product or device that consists of or contains nicotine that can be ingested, ingested into the body by any means, including, but not limited to, chewing, smoking, absorbing, dissolving, and inhaling. You're, you'll see when I scroll down that they're going to talk about drugs and, like, regulated drugs. That doesn't apply to this. This is... Everything but 
something that is FDA approved, even though nicotine is nicotine. Okay. Okay. Alternative nicotine product does not include, does not include any of the following. A cigarette or other tobacco product, any product that is drug as the term is identified in 21 U.S.C. 321, the, uh, parentheses, G, parentheses. Yep, cool. Got it. Right there. Okay, the device, combination product. All right, uh, here we go. Number four. I don't know why this is underlined. And then there's a strike through, which I'm assuming they're they're nixing off of this bill. Charati characterizing flavoring means any taste or aroma. You see what they did there? It's because of these people with these damn loopholes. I know a loophole. I got a loophole that's going to get us through this. You're literally helping them write the law. That's what you're doing. Just shut up and sit down. Sound good? Okay. Other than the taste or aroma of tobacco, yep, there it is. See that? What I, what I said earlier. Flavoring tobacco. They nailed it. Emitted either prior to or during consumption of a tobacco product. Characterizing flavor includes taste or aromas relating to food or drink of any sort. So food, anything that you can consume. Menthol, mint, wintergreen, fruit, chocolate, vanilla, honey, candy, Cocoa, dessert, alcoholic beverages, herbs, and spices. I have never met anybody that vaped off of oregano. If you do, may God be with you, okay? Um, there's a lot that's in there. There's also a lot that's not in there. But then that will fall in this and this. And then people will try to find loopholes for this. And all he's going to do is fix that underline and add that in there. Okay. Uh, now, something also he had mentioned is they're not discussing the possession of it, like actually a quiet, like having it. That's not going to be something they're focused on. They're focused on the sale end in regards to uh, what a store can sell you. I, I don't know if they've gone into reseller or wholesale distribution. It's probably going to be any sales in general. Obviously, person to person is probably going to be mixed out because it's not retail. That's just me selling it to you as my buddy. Distribute means a furnish, give, or provide cigarettes, other tobacco products, alternative nicotine products, or papers used to roll cigarettes to the ultimate consumer of the cigarettes, other tobacco products, alternative nicotine products, or papers used to roll cigarettes. Okay, uh, this is where they explain what uh, an e-cig is, basically, or a vape. Right, that's whatever. This is this is this is where it gets funny because right here, this is a strike through. Okay, maybe it's back from my AOL days or writing in Word documents, but strike through is something that we were going to do, but we've since changed our mind. But this is more along the lines of enforcement or ways to verify someone's age. It's not. And it really has nothing to do with with anything else. Like, this is what you need to provide. So I, I don't know why they would nix that. Here comes the underlines. This is where it gets a little crazy here. Okay. Flavored electronic smoking device means any electronic smoking device with a characterizing flavor, which is what we just mentioned above. Those 12 or 15 different things. The problem is with food, not going into loopholes, but the problem is with food is anything can be combined in that. Right? Like sugar cane. Is it technically a food? I don't know if anybody here has tried to chew on sugar cane, but don't think of granulated sugar. Think of a stick that tastes like nothing. That's what a sugar cane is. So, but it is, in a, in a sense, food. It's edible. Okay. So anyway, uh, right, we just went over that. Flavored vapor product means any vapor product with a characterizing flavor. Lots of that characterizing flavor, which is what we just mentioned up here, uh, right here, all these flavors. Food or drink of any sort, menthol, mint, wintergreen. What about spearmint? I'm assuming that's a spice. Okay, what a peppermint. What that you would you would literally need to do a breakdown. But l let me just go further. Here we go. So this is this is the part that I really want to focus on. Number nine, tobacco product. Tobacco product means any product that is made or derived from tobacco or that contains any form of nicotine. Any form. 
Okay, so whether you're saying that the nicotine is coming from an eggplant, tomato, potato, egg, frosted flakes, raisin bran, it doesn't matter. Any form, okay, or that contains any form of nicotine. Sort of like how the FDA does it with the warning label in nicotine derived from tobacco, even though it could come from a tire. You still have to mention that. It's exactly what they're doing here. Taking a little note out of the FDA's deeming rules, if you will. If it is intended for human consumption or is likely to be consumed. See? They're, they're, they're getting rid of the loopholes as you do it. Because the human consumption, someone could use the argument say it's for a dog, like they do with CBD. Okay, well, is likely to be consumed. Right? It's on a shelf. It says consumable. No dice. Uh, whether smoked, heated, chewed, absorbed, dissolved, inhaled, or ingested by any other means, including, but not limited to, this is, see, what? A cigarette? So, are you not, are, are people dipping their cigarettes in e-liquid? Okay. Uh, an electronic smoking device, a cigar, pipe tobacco, chewing tobacco, um, snuff or snus. Yeah, how about that? There's that word. There it is. See what they're, they're even including. <clears throat> tobacco product also means any component or accessory used in the consumption of a tobacco product, such as filters, rolling papers, pipes, blunt or hemp wraps. Here it comes, and liquids used in electronic smoking devices. Whether or not they contain, whether or not they contain nicotine. So they're considering something that does not have nicotine in it. A tobacco product, right? A tobacco product means any product. And then there it is, whether or not they contain nicotine. Cool. This is kind of like what New Jersey did, how they consider everything to be related to vapes. Do you understand? They did this with the taxes, and people use the argument, what if you do flavor shots or nicotine shots? Well, there's your answer right there, and one in five words, six. Whether or not, whether or not they contain nicotine, so it doesn't matter. If it's just PG and VG, and you do a flavor shot, Fine, but then you add nicotine, now it's tobacco. Or, see, they say liquids up here, so just ignore what I just said. Tobacco product does not include any product that is a drug device or com combination of a product. Now, I'm assuming when they're saying drug here, they're referencing, I, I would have to look at this law right here, but they're referencing the actual FDA-approved drug. Like, they're not considering nicoderm, nicorette. Any type of nicotine gum, any type of nicotine patch, nasal sprays, those are not considered tobacco products, but they contain nicotine. And based off their bill here, uh, it doesn't matter whether, wow, this is just, mm, I feel like I should start writing laws. That... Okay. Or bills. See, that? okay. Um, they're talking about vapor products. That's not really... I don't, I don't know what that has to do with anything. All right, here we go. No manufacturer, producer, distributor, wholesaler, or retailer of cigarettes, other tobacco products, alternative nicotine products, or papers used to roll cigarettes. No, wow. No agent, employee, or representative of a manufacturer, producer, distributor, who wholesale. Okay, so a representative of what I just said. Retail cigarettes, other tobacco products, alternative. Okay, so they just said that and just added the word representative. I don't know why they just didn't say no manufacturer representative. Just kind of sum that all up. That's like a run-on sentence times eight. Shall shall do any of the following. Here we go. This answers the question that I was just asking earlier. We're doing this together. See, we're in this together. I promise you we are. Give, sell, or otherwise distribute cigarettes, other tobacco products, alternative tobacco products. So here you go. Give, sell, or otherwise distribute. 
And the cigarettes part doesn't matter because it goes over here to the tobacco products. So I cannot give you, I'm in Ohio, this goes through. Th guys, this has not gone through yet. This goes through. I cannot meet you in Ohio and give you uh, uh, a flavored liquid. That's it. Can't sell it. We know that. Or otherwise distribute, which is pretty damn vague. But here you go. To any person under 21 years of age. I'm not going to go into that. Nope. Give away, sell, or distribute cigarettes, other tobacco products, same thing. Uh, in any place that does not have posted in a conspicuous place. A la See, but the, it, it doesn't even matter what the rest of this is because they've already mixed out flavors, right? All the rest of this is just what you could do uh, in regards to non-flavored products. You understand? They're talking about tobacco only. And anything that's not listed in that bracket up here. So tobacco and any of these flavors right here. Tobacco, menthol, mint, wintergreen, fruit, chocolate, vanilla, honey, candy, cocoa, dessert, alcoholic beverages, herbs, and spices. So everything else. Basically, if this passes, those are what will be taken off the market. Not specifically the devices like the, the, the mods and the drippers and the tanks, but more so but more so the the flavors and the pods, I'm assuming, that contain those flavors. Uh, let me go through the rest of this here. Yeah, see, now they're just... Yeah, now they're talking about cigarettes. That's whatever. Here it is again. See how they, they underline the flavors above, and here they are again talking about a giveaway, sell, or otherwise distribute flavored electronic smoking devices or flavored vapor products that have not received approval. There it is, the PMTA, pre-market tobacco application. So if you don't have a PMTA, so let's just say this bill goes through, and... So they're like covering their asses on top of the FDA. It's really going back down to the flavor. So the way that it's looking is if this bill goes through, I don't think that there's a set date for any of this to, for the assembly, but he said that he had spoke to the assembly this morning. So the way that it's looking is very shortly, this will be on the table to remove flavors. Yeah, because now they're just talking about enforcement and how to distribute it. Really what is underlined, um, check this out right here. The parent, guardian, or legal custodian of the person under 21 years. All right, check. Okay. Let me read up one more thing here. The person who gave, sold, or distributed cigarettes or other tobacco products, alternative nicotine products, or papers used to roll cigarettes. Oh, wait, this is other tobacco products, which I'm assuming is the e-liquid. Of the section is a parent spouse who is 21 years of age or older, legal guardian, the person is... It is not a violation of Division B1 of this section for a person to give or otherwise distribute a person under 21 years of age. Wait, what? So, so someone is 21. Someone's 21. They're married to a 19-year-old. They go out, they go buy it. I can give it. The 21-year-old can give it to the 19-year-old or 18-year-old. As long as they meet these these subsections here. But again, this is not flavors, guys. This is... Yeah, this is, this is just a bunch of nonsense. All this doesn't matter. Really what matters that everybody cares about is the flavors. That's it.
So that is your summed up situation. You will not be able to buy flavors. That's it. That number seven. That's really all that matters in this whole thing. Obviously, there's different, uh, but the adaptation right now is 21 years old to buy or vape. I, I can't remember the date. I think it's October 17th. What was the date he said? October 27th? So yeah, just banning flavors. That's where you're at in Ohio. Not right now. Not right now. But if this go, well, not if. When this goes to the assembly or the legislature, they they're gonna look at this and say, okay, this is good to go. Let's roll with this. Which is probably what's gonna happen. So flavors, as you know, it in Ohio will be gone, except for tobacco and whatever else is not mentioned on that list. I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't really care because what matters is a majority of the flavors will be gone. Yeah, it has to be passed. Correct, Anthony. That is assuming that they're going to pass it, but I like to think that um, In August? Yeah, it happened in August, but the reporter did that. Who reported that? Um, what is the website? It, honestly, there's like six websites now. So first, we, so first New Jersey vape death woman. Uh, well, I did shorthand. The first woman in New Jersey. So the so I guess now we just had someone in New Jersey that just passed away in regards to something related to vape, which is probably THC. But there are certain there are certain states that, excuse me, had passed something in regards to this that had nothing, if that makes sense. Like no deaths associated with it. I can't remember what state it was. That Washington. What? The the state that passed something that nobody passed away in. I don't know. It, it's one of the states. Um, yeah, so that's the news. That's all I got. Uh, I, I don't want to go too far into this. I really wanted to give you guys an update on the situation of where we're at. I know uh, Grimm's going live in the next 15 minutes. Thank you all for the new members. Uh, I'll continue uploading uh, like I did yesterday. I'll probably edit another video tonight. I'll have that uploaded as well. I have all those products that uh, at some point in time will be given away. Yeah, John, you might be good with, like, broccoli. Like, broccoli vape. I didn't see them cover vegetables. <laughs> let's see. Wait, wait let's, let's go. <laughs> no, that's a food, man. It would have to be, like, foot. Foot sounds good. of any sort. Man, you don't really even need to say any of this. Well, maybe this and this you do, but this right here relating to food or drink of any sort. What do you got, Leaf? Well, Okay, clove. That's the only other plant I know that... People hate clove, though, so I don't know. Um, yeah, it's pretty... It's, it it kind of covers everything. No, Mowgli. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. You'll be all right with eggplant. But I, I don't know, man. I don't know. That's, that's where I'm at Ohio. So it's literally... Just a matter of time. If this passes, I'm not trying to be the bearer of bad news, but the way that it's going, it's probably going to pass. Why don't they just tax it? Well, I, the, I guess that is not strict enough. I don't know. There's a lot of other states that I have not covered in this just because I didn't want this to go on for hours. 
but I wanted to give you guys an update. And that's the update where we're at right now with Ohio. So it's a matter of time if this goes through, but the bill is presented. If it passes legislature, then that's it, it's law. I just have to, I, I really have to really admire the fact that the governor sat up there and said, I do not believe, or we do not believe, that I have the proper authority to do it. I would rather it go through legislature. If the other governors could only do that same exact thing, like Michigan, like New York, like Massachusetts, hopefully I don't add Jersey to that list, but who the hell knows now that we have this. Is that confirmed? Yes. Now that we have this death in New Jersey. New York's New Jersey's Governor Phil Murphy has been in contact with New York Governor's Andrew Cuomo's team regarding the coordination of e-cigarette regulations. Oh Jesus Christmas. Yeah, so they're they're in talks now. Like they're communicating back and forth. Yeah, coffee's not game because that's a drink of any sort. I don't know, man. Okay, well, there's that. So, I'll see you guys on the... Is there any questions in chat before I dip out of here and eat my, eat my lunch? Wow, food or drink of any sort. Oh. And then they say dessert too. So that 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 like like they literally dessert. Like they <sighs> All right. So there's that. Anyway, um we'll see where we're at, you know. No, nothing, nothing, Shana, nothing in regards to New Jersey as of yet. I'm sure we'll hear something today is October 1st. October 3rd is when they'll pass down the uh, the thing. I'm sure I will go live and Samuel cast that. I may get a strike for doing so, but I guess we'll see where we're at. Let's take it from here. You guys be good. Thank you all for becoming. Uh, hold on, let me get this. If Planet X is coming inbound last... What? What? I don't even know what the hell that means. Planet X? What? What is this? Star Wars? Okay. So, uh, if you're going to the gym, just make sure it's Planet Fitness, not Planet X. Sounds good. Oregon. Yeah, I, I'm not I'm not covering any states right now, Jen. I'm only covering what happened in Ohio. So I'll be here for two hours. Uh, absolutely, Carolyn. Absolutely. All right, guys. I'm gonna ride out. You guys be good, and uh, I'll catch you on the uh, the the, the flippity flop. <laughs>